Hi everyone. I have an Alumacraft 1648. It's a modified John boat, modified V John boat. It's a galvanized yacht club trailer. Suzuki power tilt, four stroke electronic fuel injection. It's a 15 horse. Um, this is my project that I'm working on. Got all kinds of stuff in it right now. Um, I've got all the wiring um, for all the electronics that are going in it. Um, I ran the wiring across the back side. I tried running it through uh, this tube here on the right side and I ended up getting two pieces of fish tape stuck in it. So you can kind of see I patched the holes and then just ran the wire on the outside here. And uh, what I'm going to do up front here for my nav light, I just bought a nav light off Amazon. It's an LED. Um, I took it apart and painted it green to match. Then I bought a piece of this plate steel here. And I'm going to cut it um, so it fits this. So it'll just be here and here. That's kind of crooked, but... Then I'm going to mount the light on the front of it, and it'll just a small little mount for this light, and it'll bring up the stability in the front of the nose just a little bit, but nothing special. And then back here, um, I have the stowaway light that goes there. Uh, the light I've got over there. Um, and then I've got my Lawrence fish finder that I got installed. Um, all the wiring runs down. It's a pretty messy right now because I'm not done yet, but everything runs down and down to the back of the boat there. There's the transducer. There's the engine again, brand new. Um, brand new setup. Everything's brand new. Trailer, boat, motor, fuel tank, battery, everything on the boat. Um, one big thing I'll show you. Oh yeah, little storage compartment there. One big thing, I did spend the extra money just after reading a lot on the forums and I bought marine grade wire. So it's tinned marine grade wire. I got 50 foot, I just used 14 gauge for all my switches and everything. Um, and I'm running 10 gauge from the battery to this breaker panel and then the 14 from the breakers to the switches so once I get that all up I'll uh, take another video and let everyone see it but this is the boat and it does fit in the garage it's a two-car garage you have to push it in straight and then uh, kind of twist it to get it in right but it does fit